What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. You read the title, this is not clickbait. After about five and a half years of living here, I'm gonna finally be moving out of this house. And we've got a lot to do, so let's get started. Alright, so it's finally happening. I'm moving out of here and this room has seen pretty much every major life point that I've had in the last five years throughout my whole time in medical school. This is the desk where I found out where I was going to be placed as an F1 doctor. It's also where I spent months and months studying for my USMLE step one exam. I've done pretty much every facet of this YouTube channel in this room. This entire channel was started in here, built in here and grown through here. It's going to be sad definitely to say bye after so so long of being here and I'm excited I'm excited we're moving to a bigger place one where I'll hopefully have more space uh, to let me make these YouTube videos more space to also just enjoy my life and relax in the evenings instead of being stuck in this one room for my studio workspace bed living room place where I can have friends over everything all in one so I'm very excited and we've really got our work cut out for us I mean we've got all of these closets and drawers to pack. We've got these shelves over here. We've got all this space under the bed, which I think you guys have maybe seen one time before on the channel. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. And then of course we've got all these drawers, which have tons of electronics and cables and wires and all the rest of it. And then this desk, I don't even know where to start. I mean, we've just got so many different electronics on board. And then underneath, if anyone wants to come and deal with, <laughs> with this absolute mess of cables, please let me know, I'll happily have you. Now, I've already cheated a little bit and started packing a few boxes over here, mostly from the bottom of these shelves, the little knickknacks and things that I had stored over there. A lot of the camera boxes, my camera lens boxes, my MacBook, my Mac mini, my iPhone, my iPad, all the boxes that I want to keep, which were stored up there on top of my closet and also underneath the bed, I've already put away because I know I'm not gonna need them for now and they can just go. So I promise I haven't done too much yet. I haven't cheated. Ugh. We'll do most of the packing on this vlog. And so the move-in is still in a couple of weeks, but I kind of want to start packing a few boxes here and there as we get closer and closer to the date. I'm going to Greece for a week next week, and then I'm also on call and my schedule is extremely hectic leading up until the move. So I want to do as much as I can as I go along. Anyways, I feel like I'm talking a lot and doing absolutely zero packing. So let's just get started. All right, can't do any packing without any boxes. Here we go. Got it. All right, I think we're gonna start up over here. So these are my notes written while studying for the MCAT back in Toronto, back in 2012. No, 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 that can't be right. 2015, <laughs> 2015. So I've got those over here. I've got my notes from my entire undergraduate degree back in Toronto. Got everything over here, which you've probably seen in a few older videos as well. I'm never throwing these away, like absolutely not. Can you like look at this? Like how much time, effort, love, and care went into making these notes? They're literally never getting thrown away. Let's pack them. And then this last guy over here. To be honest, I think he'll just perfectly fit. But, uh, sit time, bud. Wish I'd packed this earlier. Where's this gonna go now? Ah, you don't believe what's in here. Shout out the Raptors. Let's go. 
God, this place is gonna need a good Hoover when I'm done. So much dust down here. Oh, ew, that was so much dust. I feel like I'm getting all sneezy. Look at this. All right, and that's this first big, big box all done. I mean, one thing that's really surprised me about this move is my ability to play Tetris and pack everything in honestly so well. It feels like everything finds its own perfect spot. If you just look hard enough and you use all the objects in your room, and then to cap it all off, look at this. I mean, look at that perfectly packed box. That's amazing. Now my sister very rightfully pointed out, what's the point of packing a box this much if you can't even carry it? So I'm gonna prove her wrong and show her that we can't carry it. All right, perfect technique to squat it. If I can lift it, I'm sure the movers can. All right, that's another box down. Another game of perfect Tetris played. All right, guys, I'm back and it's time for another update. It's been a few weeks since you last saw me. I spent a week in Greece on annual leave and I took a quick day trip to Zurich to go talk at a YouTube health event, which I made a whole vlog about. I've either already uploaded it or it's hopefully coming soon. So subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for that. But I wanted to give you guys a quick update of what the room looks like and what's been going on. So these are the boxes currently stacked in my room. It makes my already small room even smaller. I've emptied out all of the shelves over here, minus a couple of things that I'm gonna need over the next couple of days. In here, all these drawers are now empty, except for some socks and underwear there. And then the clothes that are on hangers are gonna be taken on their hangers and put into boxes. So I don't need to pack those just yet. I've got a few miscellaneous things up there I still need to deal with. This area here is clean. Got a couple shoes for work and for move, otherwise empty. And then if we move on into the hallway, You'll see that there's a nice stack of boxes over here. And Nora's room obviously has a lot of boxes in itself and all the remaining boxes that we need to pack. Now what I really need to do is get started on packing my desk, but this is such a huge undertaking that I can't do it in the evenings after work like I am right now. I think I'm gonna save it for Friday when I've taken a day off so I can just spend as much time as is needed to dismantle all of this. I mean, just have a look under here at how many cables and things I need to organize and make sure are okay. So yeah, ever since I came back from Greece, every single day after work, I've been trying to find the energy to do some of this packing, even if I get one box done or two small boxes, whatever it is, a little bit at a time, because there's still a lot left and it's getting close to the move-in date, which which is about three days from now. So a lot to do in the next three days. I'm waiting for Noor to get home and then we're gonna tackle some of the common areas, things like the kitchen. It's obviously a lot of cups and plates and all kinds of, oh, looks like Noor's already done this. <laughs> that's nice, what about up here? Okay, that's what I meant to show you. Lots of random stuff, obviously you can see up there above my head, there's all kinds of things still left to pack away, so I think we're gonna get started on that today. And the under the bed storage is pretty much all done. Just got a few kind of big things down here that I can't really get rid of easily and will probably move as they are. So a big part of this process has been getting rid of things that I don't use anymore, which has been really nice, honestly, because over the last six years, I've accumulated tons and tons of things that just sit in drawers and sit in my closets that I never ever use. So getting to either donate those to charity or throw things away that I really don't use and I don't think anyone else has a use for has been very, very helpful. I think I'm gonna tackle this set of drawers now, which is gonna be tough, but I need to get started somewhere. So let's just get on it. God, I like kind of want all these things, but I kind of don't want all these things. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> My first ever parking ticket. That's funny. <laughs> I'll keep this. I'll keep this for the next. The 
who showed up. Hello! <laughs> if you ever wondered how much tech I've collected over the years, this is a pretty good kind of example. We've got all these cables now sorted into different piles. We've got Ethernet, iPhone, USB-C to USB-C, USB-C to USB-A, display port cables, audio cables, cables for my hard drives and SSDs, and then USB-A to firewire cables. So a lot. I'm now gonna get rid of about half of them because I obviously don't need 10 duplicates of each one of these types of cables and then reorganize them again. All right, that's looking much better. Into the box. There you go. All right, great, it's all done. I never thought I'd see the day when this was all empty, not gonna lie. I have been stuffing and storing things in here for as long as I can remember. And all right, I think the next thing we'll do is the kitchen. All right, team, we're in the kitchen now with Noor, and we're gonna open up all of these cupboards that Noor hasn't done already and start emptying and packing. Here we go. Let's go. Guys, look what I just found. Shout out my mom for my next cooking video. What do we think? <laughs> All right, team, it's the next day. Been packing for a few hours and wanted to give you a quick update. I have emptied the space underneath the TV, watching Love Island in the background, of course, to keep me company. Everything is off the wall over there. My YouTube plaques over here are off the wall, which is really sad. Added a few more boxes, cleaned out a bit of the bathroom, a bit of random stuff here in my room. But now me and Nora are gonna finish off the kitchen and tackle the rest of the bathroom. Yeah, that works. I'm telling you guys, we need to move on. All right, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I think kitchen and bathroom are now done. And on the day of the move, all of the random miscellaneous stuff, just get a big bag like that, chuck them in and put them in at the very end. For now, what I wanna do is I wanna pack up this light. And a lot of you probably won't know this unless you've been following the channel for a really long time when I originally set this up. But this light over here is what provides pretty much all the good lighting when I'm filming videos. And it looks like I've unplugged something somewhere, so it's not turning on anymore, but that's how I get my room looking really bright, because right now, as you can see, this isn't great uh, for filming. And this cable actually runs up here, all the way up above my closet to the very, very end. And then down the side here, all the way down into that multi-plug there. So I'm gonna take that down and try and pack a few other kind of miscellaneous things. This fan, just make another box. <laughs> they never finish, honestly. So many of them. All right, well, here we go. Okay. This is attached to, I feel like this is getting quite dodgy. Oh, plug there, oh my gosh. The dust! <laughs> Oh, guys, unpacking my room has really made me realize I set this place up well. I really did. I had a studio, a filming studio in here. My study space, my workspace, my bedroom, my living room. In a room that's about four and a half meters by five and a half meters, something like that. Really good job, honestly. I had like, I had cable ties and uh, zip locks, long gas extension cables running everywhere. I mean, I really did a good job. 
I'm proud of uh, how I made this room. I think Noi has the scissors and I need them. Scissors, please. <sighs> All right, guys, you know what? I think that's all I can do until I start tackling the monstrosity that is my desk. So I think I'm just gonna call it here for tonight. It's about 11 p.m. Start winding down, eat something, watch something, get to bed. And tomorrow's the last day. Tomorrow I need to have all of this completely sorted and put into boxes. So wish me luck and uh, see you tomorrow. Peace. All right, guys, this is it. It's time to tackle this desk once and for all. Been putting this off for way too long it's got to happen now first thing we got to do is clean up the area i need a lot of space to dismantle this desk and get things done so gonna move some boxes into that corner move this chair out of my room and go from there i think oh except there's no space to do any of that what the hell put stuff on the couch i think that's the plan god if i don't break my back throughout this move it'll be a miracle honestly Gotta use good form. <laughs> TV stand lights, which we will need in the next place pretty early. So let me put those there. Don't need this anymore. Whoa! Let's go! The manual for assembling my desk. Yes! We actually tried to assemble my desk, uh, disassemble my desk once before and we couldn't find out how. And I just randomly came across the manual. Oh my god, that is so clutch. Let's go. Alright, it's going in the important stuff pile. Oh! Look into this. In case you're wondering what my scientific calculator looked like in high school, it's this. I spray painted the back and front. I don't know why. I thought it was cool. Still has battery though. That's incredible. I'm not getting rid of this anytime soon. It uh, holds too many memories. Look at that. Okay, this is my Samsung S7. The first ever phone that I used to film videos here on YouTube. My first ever video on the channel is filmed using this phone. And look at what has happened to it over time. That is uh, that is not good at all. The ba battery has expanded and shattered the back casing. This is probably a health hazard, but I'm gonna keep it anyway. <laughs> And this is my HTC One, the phone that I had before that. This is the phone I had in Canada, in the University of Toronto, for a long time. Should probably deal with this battery issue, but I really don't know how. surface so that we can adequately work with what's on the deck. All right, pretty big moment. I'm gonna turn off my computer, unplug this entire desk from the outlet and start unplugging all the, oh, I was gonna say hundreds, but tens of electronics that are attached down here. All of these cables that you guys see, which is a lot. Just take my word on that all come down through this one white thing down here and all plug in through this single cable, which is pretty incredible to be honest. And when I first set this up, all the cables were extremely neatly hidden, but obviously they've all kind of fallen out over time, but time to do the process again, just in reverse. All right, now my big fear is losing what cables belong to what. So first let's unplug this. Okay, there we go, just pull this out. Myself some space back there. Oh my god, where do I even start? What do I even start with? I'm gonna put on my headphones and get to work. So dusty back here. Fucking hell.
I just blew dust everywhere. All right, guys. Quick update. We're making some some good progress here. So, on the desk, we've got everything pretty much laid out. Still need to take off this uh, podcasting mic and the, the lamp and things. Down here, took apart a lot of the cables. Tried to separate them out. And actually, everything that you see here is actually going to stay exactly where it is. So a lot of these cables are already um, stuck to the bottom of the desk. Things like my monitor, brick, I have a lot of, what are these called, the extension cords stuffed into here, which I don't really want to get rid of, and they're already wired through the desk. So I've already gone through that effort. I don't want to undo it right now. And then we've got that camera, and then we've got my laptop taking all the footage off of this camera because we've run out of space to record. And my God, my room is an absolute mess. I feel like I've said that before, but it's been nowhere near as chaotic as this. Anyway, doing well. Music's keeping me going. I'm just gonna start putting all this stuff into boxes. walked into the room I'm so annoyed I wasn't recording and delivered the best news which is that our elevator is working again the elevator has been out of service for like three weeks and we're literally moving tomorrow and it's gonna fix the day before so I wish I had recorded our reaction but I didn't so I'm gonna do a dramatic recreation right now yes, sir. Yes, sir. hey man the lift's been fixed <gasps> let's go <laughs> All right, team, I uh, I just think we've done it. Look at that. I've uh, I've lowered the desk all the way down to as low as it goes on the floor. Like I said, those cables will stay there. I'll just put a couple boxes under here and I've made it as small as possible so it's the easiest to disassemble uh, or carry. But that's pretty much it. Monitor is off. It's been like four years I haven't done that or something. And I think that pretty much means we're finished i mean there's just like a couple clothes last minute things that i'm gonna have to do but that's pretty much it like the the hard hard work is done so just gonna organize my room and see what it looks like all right this is everything 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 in my room surreal to look at like this and think about oh it's one thing i forgot that in the ceiling. I'll take it down in a sec. God, it feels good. We're almost there. All right, guys. Now, I don't want to get too emotional, but this is the last box. This is the last box, believe it or not. Whew. Everything else is going in my backpack or smaller bags, things that I need for tomorrow that I can just pack away quickly when I need them. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a tiring move tomorrow. Long day for sure. Got a couple of the boys coming to help me out, which is really, really great. This is it. Let me show you what the room looks like before we go here. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the official move. Peace. Yeah, the chat's going crazy. Oh, Love Island. I think we're in succession. No, no, no. no I think no Love Island. tour of the situation. All these guys out here. Always empty. Kitchen's pretty much empty. A few things lying in the corridor. And then my room still has some work to get done. 
a lot of furniture. Making good progress. And let's see how this goes. Check it out guys, we're making amazing progress. The bed is gone from here, all the like uh, cupboards and drawers and things have gone. My desk is still there, but all the boxes have disappeared. The closets are empty as you can see, I've packed away all the clothes in those very cool uh, clothes, cardboard boxes, which I didn't know existed. TV's off the wall, I'm gonna have to take that myself because I don't want to really put it in a van. And that's pretty much it, I mean, a few miscellaneous things here, primarily the desk, monitors, TVs, etc. Bathroom's empty, the kitchen's empty. All right, and um, we're just gonna stop for a quick lunch break now. Uh, me and my friends were ordering Shake Shack, so we also ordered some burgers for the guys as well. And we're just gonna take a bit of a break kind of halfway through the, the packing and then pick up, hopefully finish off and move. What time is it? All my clocks are not here and my watch is packed. See you soon. No, we're, we're gonna stand. It's gonna be like a bar. Oh, that is good, man. Can you show us what you've got? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Guys, can't believe I'm saying this, but. We're actually all moved out. We're all done. This room I've spent six years in is uh, is now finished. And this is what we've got: uh, a little bit of a ruined wall. My two pieces of artwork, I'm leaving the the wall back up for the TV. I just man, this place feels so empty. I mean, obviously, but it's weird to see it like this. It hasn't been this empty since we moved in. You know, six years ago, me and my twin sister. Oh wow. Looks so big and empty in the room. We found so many great things in this house. Namely, gone through the entirety of medical school, all the studying and all the work that we've put in. And of course started this YouTube channel, Karma Medic, and grown it from zero to over one million, almost 1.1 million subscribers now. Uh, in the space of just a few years, which is incredible. Incredible to think about. What an achievement. It makes me so, so proud. Wow. Holy. Are we really have it packed to the brim. I didn't for a second think we would fill up an entire van like that. I honestly thought it was gonna be half full by the end of everything. Crazy how much stuff we put into that apartment. And now... What a shot. What a shot. <laughs> Cameraman am I. This is also pretty. Hey. Just almost we made it. All right, made it to the new house. Time to move everything in. A couple boxes and <laughs> chairs and things at a time. Here we go. <laughs> it had to be organic. <laughs> they made it safe and sound. It's great that this living room is the entire size of the previous floor. <laughs> yeah. Look at how many steps I can take. You can do a workout. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Guys, not to get too excited. But I can't believe this is my house. It's cool. 
beautiful. All right. All right, hold on. One for one. This is on the, on the big camera, so. Yeah. All right, guys, we're uh, we're officially moving in. Got the boys laughing in the back there. This is Noor's room. All right, she's got her her bed and her desk here, and she's got an ensuite bathroom there. I don't want to show you guys too much, particularly my uh, room, my office, which is going to be there and then the big big living room here everything is uh coming together slowly but like i said i don't think i'll be showing you guys too much of the house uh in this video i wouldn't be a youtuber if i put the move out move in and unpacking and set up all in one video so you have to tune into the next one and wait a few more weeks until i edit that i'll probably show you a few more updates throughout the the evening as we move in but then we'll call it there and that'll be the the moving into my new house vlog very, very happy, very excited. Honestly, I cannot wait to set all of this up and just be in a bigger space. My God, it's been six years and effectively in one room. I'm very, very excited. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found this fun and entertaining. And yeah, back to the medicine content in no time. See you soon. Peace.